Hey, how y'all doing tonight? <laughs> well, 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 we made it. Conference Championship Week is almost here. And I am so excited to watch, get ready to watch, get ready to witness. Um, and, you know, just, just everything in between, you know. It's a good reminder of where we are right now. So let's start off you know with some some games you know and, and the real action started on thanksgiving with the egg bowl now at the end of the egg bowl you know Ole miss had had the game tied up you know they they were going to tie it up but then a player goes into the end zone after a touchdown and does the piss celebration you can't make this up. And then to top it off, Ole Miss misses the kick, and thus their season ends right there. Mississippi State with a big, big win to end their season. Uh, as far as the Longhorns go, we dominated Texas Tech. Go ahead and throw that out the window. Now, apparently it's been rumored we're going to the Camping World Bowl. It's, it's just a rumor, though, but um, – and it could be North Carolina that we take on. Uh, but we don't know yet. Some of the bowls have been confirmed. Uh, the Bahamas Bowl has a matchup, Charlotte versus Buffalo, on Friday, the sub of the 20th. And uh, we already know about the uh, the BYU and the Hawaii Bowl situation. So Friday was interesting as well. Uh, Memphis. First off, let's talk about Memphis. Memphis is a great, great team, let me tell you. Their only loss was the Temple all the way back. I remember seeing the end of that game all the way back, um, I believe in like September, October, somewhere around that time. And they just absolutely dominated Cincinnati. They're going to have to play them again, though, next week. Um, unfortunately for Navy, they will not be able to go to the American Conference Championship. It will be Cincinnati and Memphis again at the Liberty Bowl for the second week in a row. So, you know, Brady White and company got a hand to him. That's a real good team out there. Um, Virginia will take on Clemson in the ACC championship for the first time in a long time. 15 years, I want to say, or rather, I think that's what it's been. 15 years since they beat Virginia Tech. They get the big victory there, 39-30 to 30 on Friday. Boise State wraps up. They wrap it all up in the Mountain West. They go perfect. 8 0 in the Mountain West. And they beat Colorado State 31 24. Appalachian State easily beats Troy. And they will be the ones hosting Louisiana in the Sun Belt Championship. Um, Clemson, Ohio State, Georgia, LSU, Cruz. All, uh, all four games. Don't even pay attention. We're not even going to talk about those. Clemson just beats South Carolina so bad that you don't even remember that they beat Georgia. Georgia Tech just looks awful right now. I don't know what their identity is. Maybe they should go back to the flex bone spread option. Um, at Michigan, oh, well, we thought Michigan had, you know, they were in this game for a little while, but then it just went away from them. Once Justin Fields went off, the field came right back on and threw a touchdown. The route was on. And, you know, it's frustrating for Michigan fans, frustrating for Jim Harbaugh. They asked to lose another game to Ohio State like this. And, you know, um, LSU, they just beat Texas a and like they stole something. Just destroyed them 50-7. to seven. Disgusting. Um, Minnesota, hey, how about them Gophers? No, wait, the Minnesota sports curse lives on as Jonathan Taylor, Jack Cohn, and the whole better Offense and defense, I might add, just absolutely destroys Minnesota. 38-17, and they will take on Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship. And thus, Minnesota, you are now out of playoff contention. No two-loss team is going to make it, period. Oh, yeah, what about Baylor? Baylor cruises to a big victory over Kansas to set them up for the Big 12 Championship against Oklahoma next Saturday, and they went 61-6. to six. Good Lord, let me tell you. Um, the score is included in here. 
Um, I figure the committee might rank them. They may not. But Air Force, they finished with 10 wins on the season. Crazy, right? They beat Wyoming 20 to 6. Penn State easily dispatches Rutgers 27 to 6. Notre Dame easily beat Stanford. They're attended to. They're probably going to the Camping World Bowl or the Orange Bowl. Either, either or, you know, they beat Stanford pretty easily. Um, Oregon, they take care of Oregon State 24 to 10. Navy takes care of Houston 56 41. Um, I already talked about. The LSU game, and um, talk about these three in rapid succession. Utah destroys Colorado, forty-five to fifteen. Good lord, man! Um, Florida takes care of business against Florida State, forty to seventeen. Good lord, Florida State, y'all are terrible right now. And Oklahoma, well, the run game of Chuba Hubbard just wasn't even close to enough as Oklahoma takes care of business. Wins 34-16. Nuss, the final game on the docket here is Alabama-Auburn, the Iron Bowl. The most interesting game of the day. Why wouldn't it be? And the game was really, it was going to be about four hours anyway. I mean, you know, the broadcast networks, the, you know, like the, the ABC, CBS's, Fox, NBC's of the world, those games are probably going to take four hours. Dead Serious, but this game was wild. Let me tell you, man. Mac Jones threw two pick sixes. There was a bizarre. There was a bizarre play at the end of the half where the officials just said, "Hey, we're going to give Auburn one second, and they quickly snapped the ball to get the field goal to tie the game. They're ready to get closer to a tie." And I believe it was like 31 to 27 at halftime. And then the craziest thing is that Alabama's kicking lost them the game. They lost because of their field goal kicker. Crazy time, right? Crazy time we are living in. And thus, Alabama is also eliminated from playoff contention. What? Unless something weird happens, which I highly doubt it will. But conference championships are almost here. And I gotta say, we're in for some goodies. You know, Alabama has been taken care of, and they will no longer be going to the CFP for the first time in a long time. Or rather, the first time ever, they won't be going to the college rule of layoff. Crazy, right? Crazy times. And Matt Jones, he he played, he played a little bit, but I think it was more so Waddle that got things going for. Alabama, and, you know, Auburn did well. Auburn did very, very well with what they had, and they got the victory. They got it. They got what they needed to get against Alabama. Ooh. Ooh. Now the regular season is almost at a close, and the bowl season is right around the corner. Um, of course, I will be previewing some of the bowls, not all of them, but some of them. Mostly the Saturday games for bowls. I don't care for the midweek bowls, to be completely honest with you. Um, but, yeah. Let's preview the conference championships in about. Um, when you guys see the next video, it may be in between 15 minutes to an hour um, due to my internet at this time. But, yeah, that's going to do it, y'all. Y'all take care, and we'll see you very, very soon with the next one. <laughs>